So generally, guys, we're building, uh, as you have probably noticed, we're building uh, an entrepreneurship community in the UAE that is uh, ease of access for everyone, open source for everyone. Everyone can bring their ideas, uh, their problems as well to the community and their solutions to the community. The number one uh, uh, thing that we should keep in mind, all of us, is that providing the value first, expecting uh, before expecting some, someone to help you, like you help out and you share something. And another thing is that we never de-estimate what, uh, what we share uh, or what we know already about entrepreneurship or what we do in general. And uh, that's, uh, that's the big picture of uh, what we are uh, building. And if you are wondering why we're doing this, well, simply because we can, right? I mean, that's a good reason enough, despite like going in a debate on why we do this, well, we, just we can. We can do something cool and let's do it. Now, uh, uh, the, uh, the entrepreneurs meetup in the UAE is, is going to be a frequent meetup that will be held at least once in Dubai and uh, in Abu Dhabi every month. We can, like, we'll take it, we'll see, we'll see how it goes and we'll scale it further from that point. Uh, first, I want to thank you for showing the commitment that you have registered, you promised to come and you came on time, so that's a big deal. Uh, thank you very much for this. It means a lot to, to us, to the entrepreneurship, that you're taking this serious. Uh, the second thing, uh, the topics of the, uh, the, the meetups generally uh, will be different or various from uh, time to time or meetup to another meetup. Depends on the topics that we will be start brainstorming during or inside the community itself, like the Facebook group, the meetup app, the emails. Uh, we are getting connected in that. But I've chosen the first uh, topic of, uh, of our meetup today to be uh, online business or creating a business that could be run from home. Uh, so we'll be discussing three business models, different three business models uh, that ultimately can help us achieve this goal. And uh, I'll use the chart here to uh, start digging into the... Hi. Can take my chair, by the way. I'll, I'm standing from this point. Muhammad. Muhammad, nice meeting you. Okay. So, uh, this could be moved, I believe. All right, before we uh, uh, dive into the, the topic of uh, the meetup, uh, quickly, guys, guys, just to know each other here. So, if, if you may, please, we'll start just a quick introduction of uh, our names, uh, what we do generally and uh, what we are trying to accomplish overall. So I'll start from here with me. So my name is Hudayfa Nawafle. Uh, what I'm trying to accomplish is building an entrepreneurship community, uh, being uh, an active member in, uh, in this life that we live it just once by helping others. Wa alaikum salam. No problem, it's okay, come inside, Hamad, please. Okay, uh, I don't want to bore you more with my introduction, so that's my goal. Uh, that's uh, the purpose that I live behind. And we'll start with you, Mr. Khamis, after me. So I will take this circle round here. Yeah, yeah, just yourself, what you do and uh, why you do it. Yeah, first of all, thank you for this uh, no problem. Uh, meeting, actually. If I wouldn't know that there's no benefit of that, I wouldn't come at all. <laughs> I know that thank a lot you. will be... You know, my name is Khamis Amazouri from Abu Dhabi, building Class Group. It's a uh, company where uh, we can support and help uh, business people to start a business, to uh, marketing, also to uh, do the things. This is a small uh, information about uh, my company. And we do the work all over the world. Thank you very much. Thank you. And Mohammed? Sorry, Mohammed Shah. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm an IT consultant. Uh, we work in ERP and CRM solutions, so that's, that's what we do. And the purpose of coming here is to actually explore what sort of entrepreneurial options that you suggested, the three options that you can uh, work for. Exactly. So that, that's quite interesting. So it's, it's really you know, exciting to uh, explore that. Nice having you. Thank you, Thank you. And Hassan? Hi. My name is Hassan. Um, I used to be a professional digital product manager for like 10 years with agencies and uh, local uh, clients. Uh, but I moved into building my own projects. I'm working now full-time professional freelancers for the last two years. And uh, recently, for the last six months, I started uh, working on my entrepreneurship idea, which is building an online community of learners and professionals to improve the way people learn online and even in the Middle East. 
there's no quality Arabic content online. There's a lot of Arabic quality, uh, sorry, English and other languages from universities and professional entities, but there's no online community of Arab learners here that they can find quality uh, education online, rather than university, which is expensive and takes time. So I'm about to start the development of the platform and looking for investors, actually, and looking for entrepreneurs and thinkers. Amazing, I believe. And make this great, happen. great. Thank you. Uh, Ali? My name is Ali Khandoush, uh, segment director and uh, video editor. Uh, it's been five years, six years here in UAE. Last two years was in Abu Dhabi TV. Uh, and now I'm starting, now like I, I finished as an uh, employee and now starting my own business as uh, digital signage and media solutions. Good for you. Thanks. Thank you. Zahira? Yes, uh, I'm from Mauritius. I don't know if, you know, it's like a printing error on the map. And I'm here for eight years. I'm an artist painter myself and I recently launched uh, our, our platform, um, which is Z Arts. It's an art consultancy. And um, tomorrow we are launching our online gallery. And cool. so I'm here, I'm very excited to learn from you guys and uh, to, to benefit from your expertise. Good for you. Thanks for making it to the event. And Mr. Ali? Ali Hamdan, I'm the area manager of Regis Jafzan JLT. Mm -hmm. I handle three branches. I'm here to assist you as an entrepreneur and introduce an office solutions. Regis providing office solutions all around the world. 3,000 locations worldwide. I'm here to present a cost-effective solutions for you guys as an entrepreneur, as a new um, entering to the business uh, with the office solutions starting from the lowest button. I'm not here to sell, but I'm here to support you. I'm here to give you the rest, the best solution that suits your business. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm Livingstone. Livingstone, I'm from Kenya. Um, in Kenya, I run, I'm part of a founder of a company called Young Entrepreneurs Network Africa, in Africa. Simply, we help young entrepreneurs to network, innovate, and transform their ideas, um, and help employees to bridge the gap from employment to entrepreneurship. Um, I've been in Dubai for the last about eight months. Uh, I came to do my own research in terms of how to set up a business in Dubai. Uh, I was working with KLM, um, social media, okay. so I was handling KLM, the Air France social media platforms for the last six months, but now I'm freelancing. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, cool. And I'm Ram. Yeah, my name is Imran Khan. So I'm, doing a free, I'm a freelance idea designer from last five years I'm doing that one. So not just thinking to increase the level, so how to do it in a business way. So that's why I came here to Nice having you. Thank you very much. Muhammad? I'm Muhammad uh, from Al Jifan Jamukhari. Just uh, thinking about to, uh, make, to be an entrepreneur from sales job. That's so 30 years sales job. 30, 30 years sales job. And you want to shift? <laughs> good, good having you here. That showed boldness. Boldness. Thank you very much, Muhammad. And Mahmoud? Mahmoud um, Al Atebi, uh, managing partner of uh, Brightlink International Regional Trading. Uh, this is a trading company which uh, is uh, sort of the uh, evolution of something which I started seven years back. Uh, I was simply uh, doing uh, selling stuff online and it evolved into uh, this final state of uh, company in Dubai. And beside that I started doing uh, like uh, online consultation for small uh, entrepreneurs who are getting into the e-commerce scene as well. E-commerce. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you. And Awat, the last one. And uh, I start already um, set up my company with Hadaita. Oh, I already launched my uh, uh, first um, site, very small. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I, uh, my objective to be my own boss and uh, to start working for uh, any other company. Nice. Okay, Great. cool. Great. Good for you guys, everybody. I mean, I believe we are on with the right people hanging uh, hanging around the, the, the right topic. So. Uh, happy to have you. Thank you very much for this brief introduction. Let me just say goodbye to Instagram. Okay, so uh, our topic for, for this first meetup is three business models to uh, create a business that could be run from home, totally controlled from your home, that like, you really need to leave home. Now, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the three business models that I would love to share with you in this, that I put my head together, 
Hey. Full house. Huh? No problem. <laughs> Hamad, please. Uh, you can you, you can you can bring this chair here over here. Uh, the, we have we have place here. We should have taken your advice, uh, Mr. Ali, and took the big room. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Gives you more room to move. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, thank you. Please. Yeah. Right. Adi, right? Yes. Welcome, Adi. Please. Move. All right. So now you know, guys. Now. Uh, you are sold already with the, with, the inter, with the internet thing and that we can use the internet to make a living. I would start the, the, uh, the, the conversation and the uh, decision today with just referring to an article written by Kevin Kelly uh, called 1000 True Fans. I don't know, I've heard about it, this, this article, read it or just uh, anyone heard about this article before? Okay. I'm not playing the smartest person in the room. I, it just happens that I read a lot uh, of uh, Kevin Kelly stuff because it's interesting. So Kevin Kelly is the founder of uh, Wired Magazine in the 90s, like the first when the first internet came around. And Wired Magazine is, uh, is discussing all the time the future, the, how the future will look like, how the future will appeal to us, and how it's going gonna, it's gonna to feel to us. So this article, written in 2009, called 1000 True Fans. And he's just imposing one single idea that you need 1000 True Fans to make a living as a creator. Creator means that you create any, anything uh, as an entrepreneur, artist, author, uh, video maker, movie maker. You, you create certain piece of arts, generally. And that, sorry. So that's all what you need to make a living. 1,000 true fans. And he goes a step further than this. 1,000 true fans. Ah, true, fans. true fans. And he uh, explains what a true fan is. So he said the true fan is the person who is ready and willing to buy anything you produce, no matter what. A true fan is a person who is willing to travel 70 miles, 170 miles, to see you talking for 15 minutes. That's a true fan. So you don't need millions. You don't need 100 millions of views, 10,000 of views on your content on the social media. You don't need hundreds of thousands of dollars in your pocket to start a business. You need true fans. And the only way that you can get true fans is that you really provide real value, genuine value, and help people achieve something in their life. That's, that's how you build true fans. And he goes now in some numbers, figures. So if you want to make $100,000 a year, which is a living, right? $100,000 a year is, is a good living that all you need is to produce every year any piece of creation, anything, that could be sold for $100. And you have a thousand true fans who will buy your stuff every year, one product every year, that will make you $100,000. So this theory was like just, he posted this theory as like an idea came into his mind. He was hesitant to share this idea for five years, back before 2009, because he didn't have anything to back it up to support this, this claim. But he shared it anyway, decided to share it in 2009, and it went viral. Now, hundreds of people have put his idea into action, into practice, and now they are where, uh, with, the, with, the, with the 1,000 true fans. They are where they wanted to be when they initiated this. And it's all now coming thanks to the internet. Why? Because the, why this idea could work? Because with the internet, you don't need third party. You don't need the broker between you and your customer. Back in the days, you should, if, you are, if you are an author, you need a publisher to publish your books. And guess what? They will never give you the, con the contacts and they will put you in direct con connection with your uh, end customers. But now you can sell directly to your customers and build a community for them. So that's the baseline of our discussion today. Now, there are, different, uh, there are a lot of ways that you can create a business and run a business from home. There are affiliate marketing. Can, can we do a brainstorming of ways that you can do business from your home, uh, make money online, let's say, just call it this way. And again, no judgment here, no bad or wrong idea. Let's just put our uh, thoughts together and filter it here and go through the three models that I told you about. So anyone would love to share any thought about how can you make money online, please, Hamoud. I like to give it the terminology, the authority model, where you become an authority with uh, any specific topic. Of and course. You generate any content, whether yeah. videos, 
yeah. Yeah. So, to build authority, uh, I would call this uh, uh, as well the, 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 the new celebrities as well, right? So you're a celebrity at some point and then whatever you recommend to your people, because you have authority, they will buy, right? Yeah. So yeah, to build an authority, that would make you money online. What else? What is that? Sorry? Reputation. Reputation. Building reputation. Okay. Building a good reputation around some topic. Some way it's near to the uh, other ideas, other thoughts? Maybe trust. Must be trust. Uh, to uh, it, 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 okay. Trust. Build trust. It's again around the same, uh, the same path. Building an authority. Providing right? Service. Specific service. S like specific service. Like uh, a plumbing service. Or, uh, yeah. No, uh, uh, like uh, as a freelancing. So, okay, any service, and you sell it. Let's say selling, selling services. I'm sorry, excuse me, my handwriting, guys. Just uh, you know, it's crazy. Eh? So, selling services through internet. Creativity, creating new content. Creating new content around a topic. So, content. Okay, we'll show you now how these, as well, when we put it together, can make money together. Okay, any other thoughts? Because before we we get into this. Sharing, uh, sharing any content on knowledge, sharing in general, sharing, bring people together. Okay. Other thoughts? Mahmoud. E-commerce. E-commerce. Nice man. Okay. E-commerce. What else? All right. So, as you see, it's if you really want to put your head onto this, it's limitless what you what you can do with the internet. But there are, let's say, business models. That's proven to work. There are millions of people doing this. And they are making money without leaving their home. That's the point here, online. OK? Now, before I would share this with you, uh, we say business. What is a business? What makes a business a business? Any thoughts? What are the, the, the most important stuff that uh, makes the business a business? Ali, please. Selling. Selling. I'll turn this off. Sorry, excuse me. I'm and profits. Selling and profit. Okay. And product. Without the product, you don't have a business. Okay, let's just put this here and written. And also the demand for your product. There's a demand for it. So, selling, product, profit, demand. What makes a business a business? Selling. Let's say sell, uh, profit. Service, you said service, some uh, uh, service, okay. Consistency. Consistency. Customer. Customers. Entity. Entity. Ethics. Ethics. What else? I've said pro uh, products. We did product, service. Yeah. Stuff, anything. Value. What? Value. Add value. Solution. Solutions, traffic. Connecting. Solutions. Connecting. A platform. platform. A system, in other words, right? Yeah. Customers. Plus. Customers. This stuff makes the business, right? Big components of the business. But let's pause for a minute and question what we have learned about business. Because that's stuff that we rarely do. Most people don't question the, uh, what they take moment, okay? There are big differences between uh, creating an organization with a big structure, different departments, and creating a small business that can provide to a family or a small group of people, right? So what applies for big corporations does not necessarily apply for small businesses. Agree with this? Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. OK, now, if we approach building a small business the same way we approach building a big business, that like we learn from, for example, in business schools or business trainings or the life experience itself. Because, guys, we work for big corporations, right? And that affects the way we think about business, right? We say, well, it's a hell of a lot of, a lot of job, big job here. You need a lot of team, big team to make this work. But the truth, if we look into the business this way, okay, things will change. I would say every business is made up mainly 
of two processes only. Just two processes. Okay? That will lead us in a minute on how this works online. But, oops. So any business is made up of two big processes. First process is how to acquire customer. <coughs> so let's say customer acquisition, process to get customers, and a process to deliver the promise, right? <coughs> that will sum up everything. We need a way to get people to buy our product, and when someone buy our product, we need a way to deliver our promise. The thing that we have told them, hey guys, this is what we're giving to you for, for your uh, money. Now the idea of online business is that you don't need to have these two processes right now with the internet. You don't need to have the product. If you don't have the product, well, you still, and you can get customers, if you have online sales skills, can sell stuff online, you don't need someone, uh, you do need to be the product owner yourself. Right. That's the point here, okay? And if you have a product, you don't as well need to acquire customers who can give this to someone else. That's the interesting part that I want to bring to you here. Now, there is uh, a business model called affiliate marketing, marketing, okay? Anyone familiar with the, with the term? Affiliate marketing. Is it different from MLM? Marketing? That's, that's uh, network marketing MLM. Okay, okay. it's a model, it's wor it works, okay. okay? But here we're talking about a B you being an affiliate which is selling a product that you don't own without these conditions, the three right, three life, uh, three right, three left, wow. or whatever, like the hierarchy of, of the, the MLM. Okay, it's still a business model. We'll talk about that uh, generally, okay. about the MLM and other stuff. But mainly, we'll talk about three topics here. The first one is affiliate marketing. Now, the concept of affiliate marketing, uh, uh, Sam, you said you're familiar with this. Can you just give us an idea of? Affiliate marketing is uh, making a business from selling other people's products. So you'll be like a third party. So you will sell the product of a certain company to a certain uh, customers or target audience, and you take a percentage out of that. So as a result, you're bringing new customers for the business, and you're skimming your profit out of the the whole process. Voila, you got it. That's it. Okay, now, but absolutely. The, but the, the cost on whom? No, no, we'll, co we'll come here. to yeah. the, we'll, we'll, the, 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 Now, now the, 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 the general concept is that you're selling a product yes. for someone else and you get a commission if you sold that product. But let's talk why this affiliate marketing thing happened in the first place. Why do we have this concept? Why there was a need for someone to think and say, hey guys, we should put this on action. It's the way the marketing world works. Exactly. Now we've got Hold, holding companies, big companies that works worldwide, like Alibaba, Amazon, eBay. Souk now is acquired by Amazon and they have it as well, the same thing. So big, big e-commerce platforms. Imagine if these, and they are selling worldwide, imagine if they need to employ and hire marketing team worldwide. It would be crazy, not right? It's just not feasible. So what they do in, the, in return, they have created an affiliate platform. So I'll explain it technically what it means. Now, for example, if you go to souk.com, by the way, they have an affiliate program. And uh, you can register for that. So just open souk.com, scroll to the bottom, and you'll see affiliate program, register yourself. So you provide your information there, you register as an affiliate for souk.com. They will create an, another interface platform for you, or give you an access to another like, kind of platform, where you can take links for any product in souk.com, and send it to your list. Now, we come to the authority, right? Uh, Mahmoud, we come to the authority. So if you have authority over people, and they, they, they will buy from you. Let me give you an example, it happens to me. A friend of mine asked me to recommend a camera for him. And it happens that I'm an affiliate for Sirk.com. So he's my friend, and I, I have kind of authority over my friends. He's asking me for my advice. And I told him, all right, I bought this camera, I'm using this camera, and I would recommend it to you. Okay, and I send him my affiliate link for the same product. I mean, he will find the same price for the same thing for, uh, on Sook.com. But I sent him my link. So he bought the camera, I got a cut. That's, the, that's my job as an affiliate. You get a commission. You get a commission, absolutely. So the commission now 
those vary from, uh, a, let's say, an affiliate program to another. Like, for example, on, uh, on Amazon, it's 10%, 2%, 5%, 15%, something like that. Depends on the product or the affiliate or the product owner. Now, it happened as well that because this came popular, there are companies that came up worldwide and a new company that came in the Middle East. I'll tell you about it in a minute. It's based in Abu Dhabi. You'll love this. But let me tell you first about the international platform that does this, like ClickBank. So there's a website called ClickBank. Okay. And this is a middle agent between affiliates and product owner. So what they do is that they sign up affiliates, those who know how to promote stuff online, and they sign up product owners, those who have the product and they want people to sell to them. Like we said, you don't need, if you have the product, you don't really need to promote anything. So, and they connect the product owner and the affiliate together, and they have the tracking system for these codes and these links, and they know who is making how much and how much they take, so, and you have access to your dashboard and you can see this data. So you can just simply sign up as an affiliate, go there, you'll find thousands of products, and you choose what products you would love to share or would you, you like to uh, promote. It happened that uh, I try this stuff not because like, uh, I'm into affiliates more into that, because it's, this is my job. I need to stay up to date. I need to see what's working. On. I'm an entrepreneurship coach at the end of the day, and I want to see what works. So it happened that I signed up for this product, and I have a company, another company, for kids' entertainment. Mainly our audience is moms, parents, generally, for, with little toddlers. So I found an interesting product. There is a Japanese guy who created a product teaching people, uh, teaching kids, little kids, under three years, to, uh, one to three years old, how to read at a fourth grade level. So I believe, wow, that's a good product. And I saw the, 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 like the uh, testimonials of his customers, and it's, it's working. So I shared just this affiliate link with my audience, people that I already have on my list for the kids' entertainment company, the parents. And boom, I made 70 sales in a like couple of days, just for referring the product to them. Now, does affiliate marketing make sense to you guys? Yeah. Now, to, coming to, to the question, Mr. Khamis, who ba who's paying the cost for a product? Well, either way, the, the cost is paid anyway from the product owner. You either do the marketing yourself, so you pay for social media marketing or online marketing or sales team, or you find someone, you don't pay them unless they get you customers, which is a fair deal, right? Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. So that's the first uh, model here, affiliate marketing. Now, the company that is now uh, doing the same job of ClickBank in the Middle East, called MinaClick. MinaClick. Uh, it's based in, uh, in Abu Dhabi, and uh, they are sourcing, like they are functioning as a, a, a trafficker connecting affiliates with, with the product owners. So if you, any product or any service. So for example, uh, you can, Mr. Ali, you can put your offers in their platform and they connect your offers with the right affiliates to sell. And they give a commission to the product, to the, to the affiliates, and keep a commission for them for connecting you. Which is, at the end of the day, is a fair deal for everyone, right? Yeah. So this way you can work from your home with this uh, model. The, what is the required skill that you need here? How to promote online, how to get the exactly. audience. Exactly. You need to know how to promote online. Right? Or how to create a product. Maybe well, the product is already created. Owner. Yeah, if you are a product owner. But yeah. I'm talking if you are an affiliate. No, so if you are an affiliate, you just need how to, to, to learn how to promote stuff online and get customers. Does it have to be online? So From a person yeah. have a lot of connections for, for any reason, let's say in my, in my line of business, yeah. I meet a lot of people on a daily basis and yes. can connect them with each yeah. other. Yeah. So this model works online. Even influencers, the, this new market which came up to the world, nobody was expecting about yeah. Of course. They're affiliates eventually. Uh, absolutely. That's 100% that's true. But the point of the affiliate here uh, is that you don't really need to talk to anyone over, uh, or, or like do any kind of communication with the product owner. The system knows how many clicks your links got and they get you the commission, they send you the money, wire the money easily for you. But there is a way to do this offline. What you can do is that you, can, you, you create another website and you bought your affiliate links on your website and you just talk about it. So send people to your website and in your website you have the affiliate links. 
that sends you there to, to send back to the, uh, your uh, product owner. Before moving to the, uh, to the next topic, I just want to share with you some, uh, to, to, sh to show you the potential of affiliate marketing generally. Okay? There are affiliate programs that gives you uh, a commission, not just on, the, on each sale, it gives you, it gives you an, a commission for the, the back end offers that they have. So, for example, let's say I'm an affiliate for, uh, let's say for Mr. Ali, let's say I'm an affiliate selling your, your units. Okay, and you have an offer uh, as an entry offer that you're just renting place for let's say 500 dirhams, and I refer people to buy this 500 dirhams product from you. Okay, okay. if after a year the same person purchased another 100,000 dirhams product, I would still get a commission. There are companies who do that. Okay, please. With the, like the subscription company, for example. It is a lot, by the way, they, they, they have an affiliate program. So, uh, for example, let's say, let's take it is a lot. If you give them a customer, um, I, I don't know if they have the recurring one, but I'm just giving you an example. If, they give, if you give them a customer who paying them every month 300 dirhams, you will get every month, let's say 10% or a commission. That means if you have 100 people on a recurring base, you will stop working. That's freedom, right? So you, you can do that with an affiliate program. So just to show, to show you the potential of this. Now, the other, uh, the, other, uh, the other model that I would love to share with you is similar to the affiliate. Yeah, can I ask a question? Yeah, please. What are the legalities of earning income from affiliate marketing? Can, can you do that as an individual, or do you have to now get, uh, incorporate a company? Or a and an, an, an individual, you can do that. Of course, why not? As of now. Of course, of course. The CE made, made a law, they're planning to make a law. Yeah. About it for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if you were an influencer, you need to obtain an influencer license. Yes. License. Yeah. And That's there was a freelancer's license, like, yeah. a few years back. Yeah. Uh, but they removed it. Yeah. They tried to apply for it, actually, last year, and they said, we don't have this anymore. They have an entrepreneurship uh, visa or, or license. Yeah. Or a small company license. Yeah. That's what we have here in Europe. Yeah. That's yeah. Solid uh, about the, the legality of doing this. I'll just, I'm here just arguing, okay? Let's say you're an affiliate for Amazon.com. The company is based in, in the States. And you're getting paid through PayPal, which is a company based in the States. And you are promoting to people in the States. And they are getting you the money. So what's the problem here? I can't see any, the problem. Can you see any problem here? Do you buy stuff from people who are outside the country? Yes, of course. Do they have a license in the company, in the country? Mm -hmm. no. no, they don't. The point here, the key point, guys, why the license? Anyway, just, just go to the root cause of this. Why, why, why it happens? First, it's just a protection for you and for the end user, the customer, right? Mm -hmm. Now, that's number one. As an affiliate, you are not engaged as, a, as, as the company owner. I mean, you don't say this is my product. It's like just like telling your friend, hey, buy this product from that store. If your friend got a problem with the product, they don't come to you. They go to the store. All right? That's the point. Now, the issue here is how to extract the money and take it in the UAE. Now, this is just you need to understand this. You can't withdraw money from a PayPal account into a personal bank account here, into a corporate bank account. So that's why you need a license here. But to do the affiliate marketing thing, I mean, why not? It's, it's okay. So then you still need the license. You need the license to get the to get the payment. You, you get, to get paid. To get paid here. To Otherwise, get paid. Otherwise, it's still the. the business, but still you can yeah. I mean, you, you get paid, but the money is in PayPal. You can use the money in PayPal to buy stuff online, but at the end of the day, if you want this cash, you need the license. But, but uh, Amazon, they give you an uh, account. If you are not a company, they will give you a PayPal uh, account. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, absolutely, they, they don't have, I mean, they, they deal with individuals. An affiliate is not a company, is an individual, is a person. The other way around this is that you incorporate, I mean, hang on, I'm just cheating here, I'm showing you how to do this job. The other way around it is that you incorporate a company in your home country. Yeah. Okay, make sense? Yeah. So in your home country, and you create a corporate bank account in your home country, and you send the money to your bank account there, and you will then transfer it from your home country to here, if you want it here, right? Just make sense to you guys? Yes. Guys, don't break the law, break the rules. This is a rule, right? It's easy to, proc, to be broken. So, I mean, it's legal at the end of the day. 
if you PayPal, you can withdraw from PayPal but up to five hundred dollars will withdraw. Yeah, I'm talking about like a ha ha yeah, I'm talking about yeah, yeah. But if you like yeah. consider about like taking big amounts, then yeah, you need a corporate, a corporate, a corporate, a corporate company. The lucky one here. Our country allows PayPal to bank, and it takes uh, less than twenty four hours. Seriously. Yeah. And now there's also, you know about m -Pesa? In In Kenya? Yeah, in Kenya. So you can, um, two banks have already accepted that. And also there's m -Pesa, which is the mobile money. You can do from PayPal to m -Pesa. But how much percentage they're taking to the bank for transfer? Uh, they are 1.5%. Uh, so it, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Here, here it's a much more. Actually. Yeah, yeah. For every 535, they're on like 20% they take. Yeah, and it takes three days. I, I, I usually wait for three days to get the, the to get the PayPal payment from PayPal to my company bank account, usually. But anyway, that's a business model, and this is the way how you work it out. The skill that we need here, the recipe, is how to sell that online, how to do this online. The second one, which is now we got uh, the, the just yeah, please, just please, please, yeah, please. Uh, for example, if you already incorporated a company, yes, right? Can we use that company for affiliate market? Yeah. You, you, like you own the product to pro as a product owner and you want to get people to sell to you? No, no, no. I want to be an affiliate marketer, right? For other companies. For other yeah, companies. Yeah, why not? And uh, I have a company or let's say my friend is... That will company. make it easier for you. Even if you have any license, if you can add a, right. let's say... Uh, activity. Activity on it, okay. which is marketing or media and you can do... All, uh, yep, exactly, exactly. Right. 100%. Now, guys, if you, if you, if you, if you just try, trace back the rules in the, in the past two years, okay, you'll see it's becoming easier and easier and easier for, for, for entrepreneurs to start doing stuff. So it's going nowhere but easier in the future. And it's your golden opportunity here to take advantage of this. Now, the second platform, the second uh, model is uh, drop shipping. Okay, so drop shipping. I see a lot of ho uh -huh. so that means it's familiar. You're familiar with this because this is like going crazy. Everybody's almost everybody's doing this or tried this at, at, at a certain point in their life. Similar to the uh, affiliate marketing in a way or another, right? And uh, a little bit difficult here. Like it's more more challenging than the affiliate marketing to do this. Because people need to wait for a long time to get the product if it is coming from different part of the world. So generally, before getting to the explanation, what is dropshipping? Anyone can can help us with it with the idea? Dropshipping. I have right now a dropshipping site. Mahmoud, please, yes. <laughs> You're the best to talk about so this. Basically, then. Basically, when you are having an e-commerce uh, website and you list an inventory which you don't own, for example, you have a supplier in China, but you just list his inventory and the, all the all the sales that you're having, you forward it to your supplier. And the supplier ships directly to your customer. So the dropshipping model, you don't need to deal with any physical stock, and you don't need any like storage or logistics or anything like that. So, so basically, yeah. Okay. 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 It's okay. So uh, with dropshipping, e-commerce is no longer physical business. It, you can run it only from your laptop. That's in a nutshell. Exactly. That will sum up the idea. Uh, again, generally, it's close to affiliate marketing, yeah. but it's more into physical products. Affiliate marketing does apply for physical and services products, subscriptions, platforms, everything. Dropshipping is engaging just physical products, that you sell a product that you don't own. Through now the websites that best do this or help you with that is Shopify and, and Operlo, right? Any other, other stuff, Mahmoud, you Actually, can? Actually, I'm a dropshipper myself okay. to one of the sites. One of the websites. So my, I have a trading company. I have the products. Yeah. And some uh, one guy is having a website, a small website, and then the, he's forwarding me the orders, and I drop ship for him. Amazing. Cool. Yeah. So the best tool here to use is depending on on whom you're working with, right? Yeah. You just need yeah. to secure a supplier. Basically. Yeah. Exactly. It's just All to find. Some companies deliver and carriage and these stuff. These guys they don't own the food. They just drop it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, so Souq.com is, is the same model, right? Souq.com? Yeah. Well, Souq.com, yeah, absolutely the same thing. But they, they have, have, but they have, but yeah, exactly, they have their, their inventory. Ah, okay. But they don't own the products. eBay okay. actually is the most. Uh, eBay the most, yeah, absolutely, so absolutely. A, a card, uh, they, they have something like that? Yeah. yeah. Well, hint, please. Uh, AliExpress uh -huh. is an amazing drop, uh, drop yeah. uh, shipping uh, source, largest on the planet. 
So let's just write the names here. AliExpress, you mentioned. Uh, Does it cut? Does it cut? Cut, right? This? Yes. Okay. Uh, EP. EP. Okay. So these are the product providers. Okay, I will add to this. Uh, you, uh, the local ones that Talabat, uh, Deliveroo, uh, Carrier. Yeah, you, to, send, to send to them. I'll, 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 I'll talk more into international right now. Uh, a Shopify store. Okay, so which is a place where you can ho display your products, like the e-commerce platform, uh, plus connected with Eperlo. The, uh, Eperlo, this is how it's written, I don't know. Eperlo, I don't know, the spilling. Uh, whoops. Manually. Manually, yeah. to, to take it manually from... Yeah. from Without you using any tool, just inventory manually, upload the products. But you need to go check the, 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 the for, for suppliers, or you can, you can do it from within Shopify. So the beautiful thing with AliExpress, the products are always there, there's millions of products. So immediately connect it with Shopify. You can even do it manually. You don't need to connect anything. Okay. Like Just take the links and, and, and... For example, I received an order for this uh, tissue box. Okay. And the customer is in the US. I go to AliExpress. I buy the same tissue box and I put the address customer of my customer, which is in the US. I do it manually. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then they ship it directly. Ali to the customer. Directly to the customer. But how many... How many transfers are happening and how many percentage comes from here and there and there? So you put whatever margins you want to put because the customer doesn't see AliExpress. So if this is an AliExpress at $2. You make it 10. It's, it's up to you. Right. Yeah. So you get paid $10. You go to AliExpress, you pay $2 and you keep the difference. But what happens when there's an issue with the delivery or the product or the quality? They're going to have to go back to you yeah. and you go back to the AliExpress Actually. and the Express to the supplier. Yeah. So these are the challenges yeah. that, of course, are part of the business, and definitely there's plenty of ways that it can be solved. Uh, one of them is you, you, you end up having your suppliers. You verify your suppliers first. So you don't work with anyone without you, you know. Make, exactly, making sure that uh, you got someone in, got yes. taking care, taking care of you. Credibility is actually one of the rarest uh, things that you need to find. Absolutely. Out. Still, I mean, we need trust in business. We need still uh, credibility. We need honesty still. I mean. Doesn't matter if we do it online or offline. This stuff still, I mean, apply. Okay. Now, uh, dropshipping again, again as a same thing with affiliate marketing. You need the marketing skills, right? You need the online marketing still, the digital marketing skills. You need to be able to do this, to communicate with a mass group. I'm not talking about just our connections, our friends, like MLM, for example. At a certain point, we start with our close connections, right? Mm -hmm. No, we talk about completely stranger people. So you need to build a system if you want to make like good money in here. But a system that can sell massively to people who are completely stranger, just met you online, taking in mind all the challenges that we that 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 one of them is the attention span that we have online, which is less than seven seconds, right, for people. So it means once people are surfing their, their, their phones and the internet. I mean, you got seven seconds to get someone's attention and to get someone to take an action. Otherwise, I mean, it's gone. I mean, they are distracted already with all these distractions. So uh, we still now need that skill. Now, the third business model I'd love to share with you is, well, maybe you'll just take this as a little bit fun here. But there's still, this model needs uh, somewhat, uh, let's say, logistics, and you need to have a team and follow-ups and stuff. Doing it alone will be hard. There, there is some few uh, businesses <coughs> that you can operate completely online. You don't have to be anywhere, which is from home. And these stuff, I still don't consider it from home uh, models. Well, uh, uh, at the end of the day, as long as you are not interfering with the product delivery itself, okay? We said like two, two processes for a business, to deliver a product and to get someone to buy the product. So with dropshipping, I mean, you're, you're not, with dropshipping, you're not, you're not engaged with the product delivery itself. Actually, uh, what happens is in the beginning, you can do everything yourself. But when you reach a point scaling, you have, say, 100 orders per day, you hire an assistant where, for example, a virtual you can make yeah. orders. Exactly. Them. Virtual assistants or something like that. Exactly. So you can you still, the, the point of, again, at the end of the day, guys, it's still we are building a business, what we talk about, whether online, offline, at home, at the moon, it's a business. And it does require work. It doesn't mean like if you do it from home, I mean, that's, that doesn't take time. 
takes time, it takes work. It's hard overhead also. Of course. You make a mistake in one shipment, you're going to have to cover up maybe of some losses. Absolutely, of course. But at the end of the day, you can. You, you, every business engages risk. Come on. I mean, here, I'm not talking about there, isn't, there are no risks. I mean, this is, this is absolutely not the case. But we are talking here about possibilities, opportunities. Is this possible? Yes, it is possible. Applicable? Yes, we can do it. Yes, we can do it. Can, that's the point. This is the real question here. Now, how you do it, that's the, the, another question. We'll come into that. Now, the third one, in fact, engages uh, you doing maybe some meetups, phone calls, meetings, phone calls, not necessarily uh, doing it without uh, physically or, or say one-on-one -on -one uh, connecting with others, but uh, it is rewarding, uh, especially uh, in, uh, in, in our market. And I will call that, just give it a name from my, like my head here, uh, social media marketing, okay? To be as an agent, yes? After reading this point, I invited us to break? break. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, on the break. It's okay. No yeah. problem. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll take the break. Guys, hungry for the break? <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll just cover the last one here and take a break and come back to finish all our topic. Okay. So the social media marketing. Now the point here, guys. Uh, the, now the, the social media is, is the fuel for, for, for all businesses. And there are a lot of people out there, small business owners. They know nothing about it. SMEs. They know nothing about it. A few? SMEs, I'm sorry. SME. A few business owners? A lot of business owners. That's a question. Thank you, Ali. Correct me. Yes, man. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of business owners. Exactly. The majority, I would say that. Major business owners. They're not, they, they, they feel the potential of the social media for some reason, weird reason. They don't believe or they don't act. I've, I've met few, or, actually, I yeah. can tell you some of their answers. Mm, mm, yeah, so please, tell me. I have my products, I'm selling it, I'm doing fine. If, you're, if I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna have to spend additional marketing on this, which I'm gonna take from my original marketing budget for my traditional, uh, let's say, media vehicles, okay. to give it to you. So, I'm not willing to do that, unless you give me all the trusts and the- All the guarantees in the world. <laughs> Which you cannot give in any business. Of course. Depends on, on <laughs> And uh, they don't see the, uh, many of the business owners, they don't see that uh, people on the social media, rather than kids just posting some stuff, they're not real buyers to them. Yeah. So there's, there's a gap here. To that's that's their debate then. Huh? That's, the, that's, that's their argument. The two <laughs> two, two arguments. Okay. Yeah. And Ali, what, what do you have? For example, to, yeah. to produce a commercial for 100,000 dirhams, and by the end, when you ask him, how should I deliver it to you? What, what do you want to, to show? You want, you want me to send it to you on, on WhatsApp? You, you just paid... Uh, 100,000 for, for this huge capacity? I can do it for you for 3,000. For 3, if you told me the beginning that... Yeah. Assessing so the value is very important. Of course. We need 100,000. No, 3,000. Buy 100. So, so mainly, guys, the point here. Mainly. The point. Just that will sum up with this. There, is, there are a lot of people who don't understand the, how this thing works. And they don't know how, they, they don't, as Ali, you've said enough to try, they don't, they, they don't understand the potential. You guys does, right? You know, you do. You know, you know how to operate this. Even if you don't completely know how to operate this, but we still believe in this, right? And there is a way that you can learn it. So the business model that I'm talking here is that you create a, a, a marketing, a small social media marketing agency here. guys. There is one thing common between all the advertisers and the marketing companies in the UAE. I would say that they're trying to be everything to everyone, right? They say, hey, advertising, uh, billboards, event management, event project management, I don't know, like they come up with these names that are irrelevant. Full 360. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Like uh, media production, video production, image editing, uh, social media marketing, and again, uh, uh, Google marketing, again, Facebook marketing. They don't know what they're doing. Most of them. I can't say everybody. Most of them. They most, most likely, they're just trying to say, hey, we are the company. I mean, we have an, a space here. Let's just add another product, another service. And let's see if it just catch someone. But if you think about it in a niche way, like you go specifically and uncomfortably after a particular niche, 
after you do the job, I mean, the search, the search well, and you know that like, there is money in this niche, this group of people, and you know how they behave, how they think, what they want, what, uh, what challenges they are facing, and you know how to bring value to them, and how to communicate your idea right with them, okay? You can dominate this niche in no time. Let me give you an example that you can relate to. You have, let's say, a Mercedes-Benz car, okay? And there is uh, some electrical problem in your car, and you go to the industrial area, and you see two shops. One of them is saying general, electronic, uh, general electrics maintenance. And another one is saying Mercedes-Benz general uh, uh, electronic maintenance. Exactly the specialist. That is, that's the specialist price. If you go after a niche, you, what happens? Why they connect with you immediately? Well, simply because you speak their language. You use their terms. You think like they think. When they talk to you, they, be, they feel belonging, right? So it's connecting yourself with people who believe what you believe. As Simon Sinek says, right? Maybe you've seen his, his, his video. If you haven't, there is a, I would recommend this. Start with why, absolutely. Or his book, Start with Why. I mean, totally worth your time. If you just, uh, or just see his, his, video, his video on YouTube, Start with Why. That's cool. Connecting people. Why do they connect with you? Speak their terms, their language. So now, if you, if you again, back to the point. If you, if you start creating authority, like Mahmoud said, as you being an authority in the social media, like saying, hey, I'm, if, you, if you are into social media marketing, I'm your guy. I'm the go-to. And you demonstrate that. There are three ways, that, three ways that you can still or say uh, that you're good at something. You can either stand, hey, I'm good at this. And you say that. Okay? Another way is that you can bring your customers, about us, the clients, everybody in, your, in the homepage, hey, all of them saying that, I'm good. Or you can go show it, prove it. Demonstrate that. Show them that you're good. Do the job. How can you do the job? Give them a free trial. I mean, nobody's given a free trial in the UAE. What's wrong with people, right? <laughs> <laughs> Give them a free trial. Let them, let them taste it. Let them see how this is going to change the, everything for them. Okay? And that's demonstration of the value that you're bringing. And then what? You got it. I mean, you got a customer for life here. How many customers do you, you know what? How many companies social media accounts on when it comes to advertising do you need to really uh, manage uh, to create a good, decent monthly income? I would say two, three. I mean, it's enough, right? Four. Four. The company I was working for. Yeah, please. Um, got the contract from KLM. So okay. I wasn't working directly with KLM. But they got a contract for eleven million dollars per year. Wow! For social media marketing. Social media. Wow. Yeah. And now we take five more airlines. Five more similar to Elon project. Is that a conflict of interest? No. <laughs> they have teams. They have different teams handling that. Okay. For each project. So yeah. You see, every airline is totally independent. They're handling um, social media marketing and they're handling customer care. Okay. It is cool, man. I mean, there is, there is all, I mean, guys, it's, it's, it's the time of abundance. I mean, this world has, uh, God created this world. I don't want to get into religion debate, but God created this world and there is enough for everyone. Okay. But there are a few people who can see this enough. So, and take actions. There are people who see this, but they don't take actions. It's the, 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 the trigger. I just want to say Adi, please. Yeah. Um, I like what you said, you know, when you went out and the, and the conversations you were having there's a huge misunderstanding about what social media uh, represents in this in this specific region. Yep. Um, and uh -huh. for example, you I know, agree. When, when you go to a business owner or let's say you know any any brand, they expect you to sell through social media. Social media is essentially about influence and awareness. So you know when they say I want us I want us more more product or I want to sell the service, well maybe lead generation, you know, uh, Facebook ads and to get leads and then yeah, yeah. And that, those are conversions. Uh, this is more about raising your awareness, um, and Twitter is about news and customer service, and um, Instagram is more about raising your brand equity. So, you know, you, you tell them, listen, if you want to sell more, then don't do social media. Uh, if you want to improve Great. The awareness, awareness people know then you do social media. And I think this is where a good social media <clears throat> agency says can come. can come in and educate them. Uh, in fact, I'm, I mean, my background is film and video, uh, uh -huh. and we're Got actually launching a social media um, agency 
not social media, but digital marketing. Okay. It's specifically targeted okay. at uh, entrepreneurial startups. Oops. Um, so yeah, so this this is the kind of thing that this gap we're looking to. Uh, you know. I work for an agency here called Digital Group. I don't know if you know them. They are they they only do that. They work with influencers, with social media influence, yeah, say, influencer uh, marketing or, yeah. or faces, and they get clients mostly from Saudi Arabia. Uh, yep. Most of their yeah, clients. yeah, yeah. Uh, I worked as a delivery manager for them for like one year, and they're doing very well. They make up to one million dirham per year. Uh, uh, absolutely. I mean, uh, with the, with the internet, I mean, it just become. Uh, infinite what ideas can come I mean who knows what's gonna happen in the future but uh, for after the break after the break this is what we will do I will show you a way that connects social media uh, marketing or let's uh, just put it this way uh, selling is the same through history a thousand years ago a thousand years to come and today there are three major three processes let's say three uh, steps for any sales to happen any sales to happen uh, even Whatever, what doesn't matter what kind of the product is there or service. You need a people, a place where there are people. We refer that as a traffic, right? To that, as like people on the uh, either footfalls in a shopping mall or traffic on the social media. So we need people, right? And then we need a customized environment where you can communicate your message on a one-on-one -on -one base with the potential customer to know what they want, what they need, and how you can do that. In this instance, let's say it's a shop inside Dubai Mall, right? or an email or a phone call with the sales team, which is a personalized environment. And the third thing is the cash, just get paid. The shopping cart, right? The cart itself. So it's the same thing. The same thing through history, just terms different now. Now I'll show you now how we can build a system that can take care of these three steps for us, which is in other words, the business model that I shared with you briefly on this uh, presentation has one thing in common, how to sell online, right? That's what we are going to discuss after the break. Sounds cool? Yes. Amazing, all right. Thank you very much, guys. See you after the break. Part two. Part two. <laughs>